So when it comes to removing so many people inside a scene, there are two important things you have to remember when it comes to doing this with generative fill. One is regarding the selection itself. So I've taken the lasso tool here and do not make selections which are very tight. Like don't individually select people using one of these uh, quick selection tools or the object selection tools. You have to give it like a lot of room. So just make a loose selection. So this is actually easy to do. So just you know, around that, and just make a selection like this. This definitely gives much better results, okay? So one is this, that don't make tight selections, loose selections like this work much better with generative fill. And the second thing, important thing is, what exactly do you type? So according to Adobe themselves, when you're removing something, they say that don't type anything here, just hit generate. You can try that out because sometimes, right now still a lot of trial and error is involved since this is a new tool relatively. But usually in such big selections, when you're working with such big objects, I've just found it to be better to just write what the result that you want, okay? So for example, here it'll just be better to write, remove people. And then if I hit generate, it's highly unlikely that we're gonna get the results straight away. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see. So this is the result that we've got. And you can see, yeah, it just on the first go, it probably won't do the best job. It's gonna add some things, change some things in the background. It will change a lot of things obviously in the background because in the original photo we can't see those things anyway, right? So this is anyway your best bet. But if you do this, we get the three variations and we're first of all looking at what looks to be the closest when it comes to the surroundings. So does this look? No, probably not. A lot of things have been changed here. What about this one? No, this is like a lot of things have been put here. The third one, I think this looks to be the closest, right? So if, you, if I compare this with the original, yeah, the only thing is, you know, maybe like a dog or something has been added and some stairs and maybe this uh, thing has been added here. So we just now have to just do this process again with these things here. So we can just again, this time, take this and for such small things, it's okay to just hit generate, okay? So we don't have to write remove this. For the smaller objects I've seen, if you just hit generate, it works out to be fine. And you're gonna get different results. You're not gonna get exactly the same result as me. Sometimes it can be better, sometimes it can be worse. But let's see this time. And now you can see right now this is perfect. So we just compare this to the original now. It literally feels like yes, now it has done a really, really good job and removed all those people. So two important things, follow that. And usually Generator Fill will do a good job. And remember this is AI, it's always getting better. All right, I'll see you in the next video.